Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. I, I guess so, yeah. We don't need a mic for this morning. Um, yeah, welcome to our uh, second session, or no, third session here at the CE meeting about the system strategy. Um, we want to use this session. Also, first of all, has, uh, have you been at the session yesterday where the direction has been, has yeah. been presented? Um, because we want to use this session for three things. First of all, we want to talk. <coughs> oh, but I hope I'm not using my voice already. Um, first of all, we want to talk about the endorsement process. What does the endorsement mean, and and how is the how can the timeline be? And I would be very interested to hear your thoughts on this because it has not been fully set up, and I'm your input. Uh, and then um, we would like. No. <laughs> I think it's is it okay for you? If it's Nicole, it's maybe it may be okay for them. It's just that uh, I am uh, uh, trying to take notes yeah. and Carol's yeah, 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 okay. eyes were threatened. No, it's enough. Yeah, it's enough pointed at me to okay. know that I should. We, we want people notes. to be attentive, listen attentively. So that's why it's so quiet. Yes, sir. Good morning. 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 Good Endorsement. The second thing is um, phase two. What will be coming after? We have, um, yeah, we have uh, created the strategic direction, and I also wanted to hear what you actually think uh, about it. How do you uh, can you imagine your organization or your group or whatever to fill this organization with life, and what it will mean for you as an organization and for you as a region as CE. And um, then we will also again have a have time or not again, but have time for a Q and A regarding the strategic direction. We skipped this yesterday because we were running out of time, but we wanted to give you some um, yeah the the chance to to ask more questions or to provide more feedback on the strategic direction if you like, because we still have time until Monday evening uh, for comments. Monday evening the comments will close, and then the drafting group will take some more time. To um, to include the the comments that we have collected over the uh, last couple of weeks, um, and then to present the final strategic direction um, by the first of October. That's actually what we are what we are aiming for right now. And um, I'm happy that Carol is with me here, not on stage but in the cir uh, circle. <laughs> and Carol has also um, talked about the strategic direction yesterday in the. Strategic Direction Saloon. Um, no, Strategy Saloon. Strategy Saloon, yeah, sorry. I'm sorry. Do you also want to... Yep. Oh. Uh, so with some people who are also in the circle, we, we had this uh, uh, good discussion yesterday about uh, Phase 1. Uh, so we discussed the concerns that people had with this. Uh, perhaps the ways we could improve uh, Phase 2. Uh, the concerns why maybe with some some communities are are disengaging with the process, uh, which is certainly a problem for the for the CE region where we have lots of uh, small communities and uh, people who are really enthusiastic about the projects, but not so much with this wide scale overarching strategy. Uh, so so we have been discussing this, uh, and and also the feedback about this will be inserted in the discussion and, and uh, uh, design of the phase two, which is now ongoing and, and uh, starting process. So, so we, are, we are designing the phase two and hopefully we can learn from phase one mistakes we have made there. We can make phase two better and uh, probably the phase three will be even better. So be excited about this so that the future to come. Uh, and, and also I really hope that you, you have read the strategic direction and uh, actually, one of one of the questions we we could start with is uh, is how do you feel before we start to actually talk about the endorsement process? Is how do you feel about the direction right now? Do you think in in theory would it be possible for you or your chapter to to endorse that uh, in in the form that it is? Uh, what what is the real problem if if there is any there? But that you feel that. Um, that maybe makes it harder for you, your community to ins endorse the, the strategic direction. So you, you can have a, a small look if you, if you haven't on a direction and, and maybe there are some people who, who want to answer to this question. So what, how, how does your community feel about it, chapter feel about it, 
uh, people feel about it, what, what is the general temperature, is it, is it okay to endorse, or there is something essential missing, or really there is uh, something there that, that really shouldn't be there in the direction. Uh, you can volunteer or it can be volunteered to answer that question. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, 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 no, no, no. You had another mic with uh, noise. You had it yesterday, it's easier. Well, you it's coming. I'm I'm Piero Oivan from Finland. I'm I'm vice president of Finnish Wikipedia. And uh, well, I will tell you my experiences so far. Uh, I came uh, to this discussion a little bit late because it was our president said that you should do something about this and okay then I, th then I began it's about some months ago I think I don't remember exactly but uh, uh, I participated in one uh, uh, webinar about this and uh, there, there I told that for my uh, point of view it should be more concrete, yeah. And uh, well, what I have done is that I have translated in Finnish the things that you have had in there, the the, the meta page of of, of this discussion. And uh, uh, I, I'm not really good in English, but I'm not really bad either. But it's it has been a, quite a big work to translate it, so it's it's very difficult language. And uh, I think uh, uh, it would be better that the language would be easier because I think there are there are many uh, few people who are native English speakers and it's it's like university level language. You understand? So it's it's uh, many people have problems to understand it, and uh, that's I think that's one 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 limitation. The the other thing is that. Well, it's has been very good discussion, very important uh, topics, no, no problem with that. But it's, uh, it would be easier to say what you feel if you have uh, like uh, uh, concrete successes, what we should do next. Okay, that's my point of view. Thank you. And also follow up on that a bit. So we had the same kind of discussion yesterday in the strategy saloon. Yeah. And uh, I'm so tired. I had to go. Yeah, good. Yeah. You can join us today. But I think we are repeating that. We're going to Finland. But <laughs> not so late. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so the thing uh, is that uh, what we also discussed and what came up was the language <coughs> issue. Uh, but uh, as the discussion went on, we we started to understand a bit that maybe this language uh, question is also just just a big uncover the. Uh, comfortable excuse and we can take and actually it's also uh, we lack people in the communities who can be thoroughly engaged with strategy at all so it is it's not so much also of a, of a language question but uh, but the lack of uh, strategic thinking in the communities overall so yeah, yeah. the language thing is, is one thing but uh, but actually when we started to discuss the people who are interested in the strategy in the communities they are actually quite good in English and, and actually have worked with these kind of terms before and, and know what I mean and what's going on. So actually, but this is not maybe the main problem. It is a problem, problem certainly. Uh, if we, we would like to have a direction that is translatable to the languages, that is understandable from the first side, that you don't have to dig deep, 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 deep into a dictionary to understand the direction. Uh, but on the other hand, I think in the process, this has, this has not been uh, the main problem. It has surfaced as a problem. But actually, this is covering up the problem that we are lacking people who can think strategically in chapters and local communities. Uh, the follow-up question would be, in this form that we have direction at the moment, does the Finnish chapter have any problems with endorsing it, or how do you feel about that? And then we can take the next one. Well, to tell you the truth, I, I made a, a project, a big project about this and nobody participated in the conversation. So I think that uh, 
I'm sure there are, there are people who participated, but they participated directly in the English. Mm -hmm. As you said, that uh, the people who, who are really interested about this and who have the capacity of, of strategic uh, thinking, they know the English, so they don't need really the, the, the Finnish page for that. But it might be also that uh, uh, it was difficult to say your opinion if it's very abstract. You understand? That might be also, but I'm, I'm not sure about that. But I know that it, was, it, it wasn't so easy to translate. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. Um, I'm glad that. Uh, uh, subject name and chapter for for the notes. Yeah, this is Armenia. <laughs> <laughs> Armenian radio. <laughs> 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 Uh, yes, my uh, opinion about uh, yesterday's discussion, I'm glad that we brought up a very big uh, picture and uh, our objectives of uh, what we are going to achieve within the next uh, 10 or more years. Uh, I would like to say that we are living in a very dynamic age and uh, I remember that our generation was the generation of uh, reading books the next generation was in living in internet and uh, I see that uh, current uh, uh, youngsters are uh, communicating with each other more with animations and images and uh, in a different way and uh, we would like to see the Wikipedia that uh, <coughs> will have this transition because uh, they cannot uh, continue to work in an environment where only texting exists, right? So it's, uh, we need to bring a big change to make this happen so that Wikipedia will be actively used in this. So my uh, <coughs> vision is that uh, if uh, Wikipedia is a knowledge base, then we need to create a kind of shell on top of it which will allow people to do this kind of uh, to create an environment for editors and for users so that we can facilitate them to create this uh, new environment new way of visualizing things visualizing this knowledge and also to allow young people to actively use it. In that case, Wikipedia will have the big future, I think. And do you think what you just said is reflected in the direction? So, everything that you just said, is it, will it be possible under the strategic direction? Or I think, think so, because uh, this is a kind of uh, more IT development, and this will become a kind of development issue. If we don't do this, then uh, uh, we are becoming uh, like a uh, database for Google, for Facebook, for other commercial even environments and we are just uh, becoming only a source of data for others and uh, we need to decide whether this is what we are going to position ourselves. Yeah. Okay. I think uh, we uh, have I don't more things, but uh, we'll yeah, turn later. See yeah. what you have. Then. Yeah. Yeah. We had forum in Armenia and uh, three panels. No, uh, obviously we say. Uh, no. <laughs> yes, we had uh, internal discussions for these issues and uh, many uh, different visions. And uh, I'm thinking that uh, 10 year is pretty a big uh, for, for duration of time. And uh, mm -hmm. we see every year a big uh, change <coughs> in the environment. Um, I can say that uh, 
Um, APIs and interfaces is becoming very essential that should be developed properly. And uh, it's uh, yesterday we've been, we've been talking about uh, that uh, this is a kind of uh, futuristic things, but I don't think that it's future, futuristic because it's uh, today's day. Um, I can just uh, tell an example that uh, I've been traveling uh, some five, six years ago in Montpellier area where there is a Tima laboratory where they have uh, created a chip that is uh, embedded into your spinal cord and the uh, disabled people can uh, communicate with this chip and control their uh, legs and hands and everything. So, uh, and uh, in Sweden, there was recent development that uh, chip was built in the brain. These are all futuristic things, right? But it exists now that uh, information communication is happening through these chips. So it's uh, the life is changing, and we are when we are talking about uh, 10, 15 years. Uh, we need to think about this because we are creating something now that uh, will get our our readiness in that direction, and it, it takes time. I think yeah, I understand where we are going. Then, and as I understood, you feel that this is somewhat uh, uh, represented in the strategy that the technical development we have added to uh, as a theme as augmented age. So this has been there. So what is the general feeling in Ar Armenia about the strategy? Do, do you feel well about the strategy, the direction that we have, and, and are you ready or willing to support that or there is a major issue? Sure, sure, we are. Um, we are thinking that uh, especially to take over in that direction of uh, developments of uh, some interfaces or uh, environments, uh, we have uh, specialists and we can do that. Many companies, uh, software companies. Excellent. This is, this is uh, we are excited to hear, but it's more of a phase two topic. So yeah. We don't want to jump into it. But uh, can you pass it back to Sure. Kevin? I want to add some, uh, something too, okay. because uh, it is more uh, nowadays thing, I think. Uh, we uh, know that uh, article, the same article in uh, different languages are uh, different. <laughs> Uh, what to do? Uh, just uh, one example. For, for instance, politician in Arme Armenia, uh, about him, English article is m more precise but, than Armenian article. But this, is, this is not so much a question related to the direction we can uh, discuss uh, this. Uh, a bit. Uh, you know, uh, we need uh, some translation tools or some. So this is, this, is, this is a technical question, and we can continue this conversation later or in the evening. Uh, but we Maybe, but I, uh, we, uh, we need to, uh, um, to be trusted Wikipedia, and th th that's why uh, it is uh, it will be in direction. What? Uh, okay. I'll be short. Okay, so uh, what I think when I see the strategic direction is that uh, it's too simple and uh, general, so I like it very much. But on the other hand, uh, it also uh, asks for uh, more specific things in the next phase. So I suppose that uh, phase two is going to be more specific about, about some things. And how I personally uh, see it is like uh, uh, the term service refers to the uh, technological infrastructure that uh, we are going to build to facilitate how the knowledge is uh, disseminated through the communities and the equity is how we are going to engage the diverse communities in the whole movement. So, uh, I think it's good. Uh, so, it uh, needs to be uh, more specific in the next phases. And uh, ab about your question, I think that most of the things that uh, uh, we are discussing now uh, are included in this direction. So, the point is uh, uh, to make a priority scale in the next phases and to see what we have to do in the first uh, few years and what uh, we should do in the next like 10 or 15 years. Because uh, as uh, Arvid said, uh, 15 years, 10 or more years is a pretty long period. Many things may change. So we have to 
uh, have priorities that we are going to pursue in the first years and then to, to leave uh, space for something uh, in the next five or ten years. But uh, in general, what is the feeling in, in Macedonia about this? Uh... Mm. I hate to say that uh, the people don't care about the strategy yeah. process. <laughs> so unfortunately, it's like uh, we don't want to waste our time uh, for inv getting involved in discussions instead of editing articles on Wikipedia or organizing community events. <coughs> and I wonder if you say you don't really care with us or you don't, you're not so, there's not a no. high level of engagement? Would you endorse no. it anyway, or would you just say we don't need yeah, to endorse also, it? Yeah, I'm also afraid that the community mm -hmm. is not going to decide whether to endorse it or not. Mm -hmm. So personally, would I, I would like to endorse it, but if I don't have support from my community, I think it's uh, not possible for me to step out as an uh, individual and to, to speak about uh, the whole community. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can, maybe, um, would it make sense if I make a quick intro into, into the endorsement, so what it, is, what it actually means, and what the timeline is, so, and then we can probably talk a little bit more deep, deeper uh, about are you going to endorse it or not, and what would you need to come up with the decision, what yeah. would the process well, look like? I think another problem is that uh, people see uh, the whole strategy process like something that they don't, competen they don't have competencies to, to work on and decide on. It's like, uh, for example, uh, the field is like uh, uh, you bring uh, uh, students in physics a test to construct a space shuttle. So they have some elementary knowledge about uh, the things, but uh, they are definitely not capable to do it. So and I think science. it's the same in uh, our community and in most of the communities. So for the community, it's just like rocket science. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, the point is that uh, I think that, that's a fair point. So people don't want to engage in something that uh, they don't have uh, knowledge and competence about. But on the other hand, uh, it's a bit pity because you, uh, you're you not going to uh, have the response from all the communities as you wished before starting the, mm -hmm. the process. But are you still yeah. excited going to the moon or...? <laughs> uh, that you you can invite uh, partners uh, because uh, community members maybe don't understand, uh, but uh, it uh, uh, have their impact on all society. Mm -hmm. um, you can invite partners. So yeah, I think that it's useful to to uh, say something more about how the endorsement process is going, is going to be, and I also would like uh, to know how the other stakeholders outside of the movement. Mm -hmm. Uh, are going to be involved. So I suppose that uh, they are also the partners are also going to uh, endorse the strategy and to have some opinions on it. Yeah. I think what I wanted was you to warm up a bit and give opinion what you have now before we, we go to the details. So, but I will give the mic to Thomas, then uh, Nick will talk about the endorsement process more in detail. Okay, so I try to be brief. So, uh, for example, <coughs> let's just we can make such a practical experiment. So then, for example, uh, if uh, Armenian uh, if community uh, said they, from their perspective, they st strategic thing is to have good translation tools from Russians to Armenians, and then. And they are Not taking this this, this very this, this very do document, and then they would like to find to which point does ma might fit. And then I started to thinking to, to which point this might uh, fit. And it's I, I understand that this is a very general document, and such detailed things shouldn't be put there. But then which point could be covered? So do you have an idea? I was just reading this in 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 in, in thinking how to explain Susanna that it is covered by this uh, which, which exactly bond? <laughs> uh, yeah. 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 As this question has, uh, the technical questions have come up uh, uh, to wide extent in the discussions, of course this is in a strategy. And of course you can support so, that. Yeah. And uh, this is basically the, the point about uh, knowledge as service. Uh, there is also editing on, on, on uh, being written there. So if we build tools for others and partners, we are not only building tools for them, but now actually we have had it that we are building tools for ourselves. This is basically that. This is it. This is in the, even in the main box. You don't have to go to the reasoning implications. This is this thing that you are talking about that you will ease included in the main box of the strategic direction, basically. Uh, but uh, trusty is uh, maybe you mean English version, but there are many. Uh, no, this is this is, this is just an example. Trusty. So. It, 
it would be ideal, but we are not tackling problem one by one. This is this is what is burning out the tech community. We have to think long term and invest resources where we can actually build solutions that work for for many things and 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 not only English. And, and basically, this is what content translation somewhat is. Uh, we have been trying to develop content things on that. comparing, uh, not only translation, comparing. Uh, uh, and this, this is also <coughs> a bit of cooperation too, because you have uh, the texts parallel to each other uh, in, in tables. So, so, but yeah, I understand what you mean, and, and this is in the direction, uh, not of course in a specific way. Yes, okay, so when we would like to answer uh, Ukrainian, uh, for, sorry, for Armenian uh, community where exactly it's, uh, it covers, which part of these documents covers their co consent? So service. Service. Okay, but then, uh, so this sentence to serve our users will involve uh, our underlying infrastructure to become a platform that serves open knowledge to the world across across interfaces and communities. And then you can say your community, that your con concerns are actually covered by this very yeah. sentence, and yeah. then it yeah. might help to, 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 to go any further. And then for me, for example, I would like to make such a checklist for myself personally, if mm -hmm. it covers or not. And if, if it covers and if there is nothing, anything wrong which I really cannot agree, so then it's okay, I can endorse this, mm -hmm. right? So this is the, the, the process, more or less. The, the, the issue only is the language is still complicated. And then, therefore, it's pretty hard to, to find this, uh, what you need in this, in, in this very do document and to uh, apply to your, to, to your specific local uh, situation. Right? We don't say that it's uh, not included. Uh, we, we just uh, uh, emphasize that uh, these things are uh, important. <laughs> so one thing I have been talking about as a somewhat community representative in the process uh, is that after we have a direction, there is lots of explanation to do. And already this here is part of the explanation. We have Nicole here, we have Catherine here, so there are people who really know what this is about. Uh, also have been engaged, Thomas has been engaged. So this is also part of the explaining process. We are here to explain to you, and I'm, I'm more than willing to, uh, to explain these things, uh, things even more, but we have to continue that and have to really show uh, their, their input to ease in a direction and then where all these important themes are in the direction. Uh, so this can be part of the endorsement process, but now Nicole will tell in, in, uh, in a more sp specific way what, what our current plans for the endorsement process to come. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Um, so first of all, as I said, on Monday the comments on the draft will close, so make sure you, you can, uh, as Carol said, talk to us here, or also comment on the meta page, there's still, still uh, a little bit more than 24 hours uh, time for that. And then we, we are planning to publish the final direction on October 1st, um, which is in, in a week, kind of, yeah, which is in a week. <coughs> and um, then we are, for the endorsement, I am going to the, to the next slide here. Um, for the endorsement, we are planning this to be like an endorsement day to, um, to have kind of a celebration, probably comparable to what we did with, with, me, with the Wikipedia, 15th birthday, so that we have a, like a worldwide day of celebration of this direction that we are that we are there that we have now um, agreed upon this this direction together, and we are most probably just um, opening a page on Meta where we ask for endorsements by um, affiliates and or by organized groups and individual contributors. So at the moment, it is only it is we are planning to do this for the movement for the internal uh, organizations and people, and not for partners at the moment. We have been discussing this, um, and we might um, want to ask like Creative Commons or the Internet Archive, but not make this a bigger, um, bigger process for external groups. While, of course, everyone who is interested and feels related to Wikimedia can endorse it. If you have a partner, if you have a museum or so who has who, um, who are active also on our project and have a user account, then sure, of course, um, they'll be invited also to endorse it. But first of all, for us, we thought it's, it's the, the main thing is to have the movement stand behind 
this strategic direction. And um, what we are planning is like a little bit of celebration and happy hours and probably create some sport, <coughs> like, I don't know, some nice nice stuff and also encourage people to come together uh, in your in your chapters, in your organizations or with your communities, have some cake or whatever and um, celebrate that that we are there yet and that we have something that unites, that can unite us as a movement. Um, and, yeah, and then sign the meta page and I don't know who signs it first or who, uh, who what will then be the order when everyone signs it on that day. I think that's, that can be can be quite interesting and also fun. First of all, we thought we will have an endorsement month, and then we thought, okay, if you have a one month time for any, for something, when will the time be when you uh, when you do something or endorse it? And I personally, I would always do it on the last day because <laughs> I don't know if, if you have submission yeah. deadlines two weeks earlier. When do you handle your That's submission? That's effective way because you never. This is actually the, the last day is, is a good good way to go because you never know maybe there is something going to change. It's on Meta and it's uh, weekend. Yeah. So this is a very good approach and, and this is where the endorsement take on team. Right, and the endorsement. So we just skip the whole month and just have it uh, on one day. And um, just one sentence about what endorsement actually means or what it not means. It doesn't mean you are all selling your soul. Uh, <laughs> you already have done it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, what we want, what we imagine this endorsement to be, is really a broad agreement and support that this is the right way for us as a movement to move forward, to move into our into our joint future, and to move forward together as a movement. Um, so everyone who endorses it endorses. This shows that yes, this is the way to go. We are going into this direction. But what it means for each and every one of you and your organizations um, in detail, this is of course something that we will discuss in the later stage. So um, it's mainly that we want to have, yeah, as I said, broad support and agreement to move to move into our future together. And um, um, to come to this agreement, and that's that's where my question is at the moment, what would you as organized groups, as affiliates, as chapters need to come to this agreement as a chapter, for example? Um, because I can imagine that you would need like some decision, like, need to set up some decision-making processes. You cannot just, I don't know, Susanna, can you just say, yes, we're going to endorse it. I, I bet you have to talk to uh, some other people about this. and, and and not come up with a resolution, or um, probably also ask your members. Can I? I will open the round in a second. I will just. Or do you? No, no, no. Yeah, okay. Um, and my biggest question is: How long would that need? How long would you need if you, if we say we are publishing the direction on October first, and we want to keep the momentum? We cannot wait like for half a year or so for the endorsements, but probably for a few weeks. Um, I at the moment imagine it uh, three to four weeks um, to be because we have tried with and I have tried with all my emails that I've sent uh, to most of you um, to prepare you for that this is this is coming and that you um, make up your mind about the decision making processes um, and I, yeah I would like to figure out how long how long would you need to come up with a decision would three to four weeks be enough uh, to make a decision and I'm yeah, no, opening the round, bank. Uh, well, that, that's... Just, just, uh, what I tell you, that also be... Uh, uh, it's not about only the time, but uh, in this time consideration, uh, we want to know what steps you want or, or you need to take before endorsing it. Do you need explanation of the direction? Uh, what, are the, what are the steps you think you need to take? Are you going out to the community, uh, to chapter members? What, what is the process? So this is also... If you think about the time, you also have to think about the actions that you are planning to take or you need to take in your local context. So this is just a, a no thing. Well, this is a concrete question, <laughs> which is the first one I think I can <laughs> address. Well, uh, I would say that in, uh, I'm Ben Dorberger and I am a um, member of the board of uh, the chapter in, in Sweden. I would say that um, I can't foresee an endorsement by 
the, the board or the chapter. I, I, I'm not, can't say it for sure. Uh, maybe uh, they would like to endorse it. But definitely according to the, the um, tradi cultural traditions and, and association traditions in Sweden, this is a decision for, for uh, a member meeting. And we, we only have a member meeting once a year in April. So, so any quick endorsement, well, I, 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 I can't imagine actually how, how, how we should do it. Yeah, this is this is uh, good. Good. I will just come to that. I will comment on that. So, so this is good to know, and I think. Uh, in in a Wikimedia way, we we like to be inclusive with our uh, with our chapters and, and with, uh, to bring members in. And this is a case with uh, I think with our organizations too that we tend to have general assemblies once or twice a year. So thank you for bringing this up. Well, of course, there is another uh, specific thing with Wikimedia. I mean, this this is of course a very <coughs> messy uh, movement. <laughs> Uh, out there, it's a totally messy. I mean, that's that's how it is, and it's a strength of it, and that's the interesting thing of it. And then we have uh, within the sort of middle of the movement, we must have strict organizations. I mean, even a chapter is 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 a conventionally very strict organization with auditors and and, and everything. Uh, and good finance uh, arrangements, etc. Uh, and uh, coming to, uh, which is a tricky thing, I think. Uh, I mean, personally, I, I very much, much like this. I like that we, uh, and, and it's a certain, the, the, the last uh, point that I think is very important when we define <coughs> a little what we mean uh, with free knowledge, uh, we, we go a step in the concrete uh, direction of, of concrete things, with, which is very useful for us. But uh, I think that uh, we have, in, in many countries, the same situation in Macedonia that people don't bother about it. The community uh, we have in Sweden, they don't bother about. Uh, 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 all these processes, they are doers, and and uh, Wiki, uh, this Wikimedia movement, of course, is based on a strong doer culture, and and doers are not so interested in philosophy or existential matters or concrete <laughs> visions, actually, and in some way. Uh, uh, we have to be careful, as I see it as a chapter, uh, to, to move too fast away from a community that really isn't engaged. So some di th there could be some distance and must be some distance between the chapter uh, uh, and the, the community, uh, definitely, when it comes to to, to uh, uh, the strategy, uh, visions, and ideas. But we have to be rather careful to see to that we, it's, it's, we have to do some tricks, so to say, not to, to, to get the community against us. And that means that we, we must follow, I think, this very inclusive procedures that is part of, of the movement even now. I can see that Nicole and, and uh, all the others of you has worked with that. That you want, you, you are n near to the goal and want to close the, the, the um, um, procedures now. But out in the uh, different language communities, this is totally uncharted waters, and it's new for them. So, so, so uh, 
I, I think we should much more um, let's uh, see the, 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 the process itself as a goal here than, uh, than having the manifesto even if I, I personally would very much like to have the manifesto to, tomorrow and then to, to try to sell, to sell it, so to say, to, 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 to uh, uh, people outside. But, but would that mean that you rather just skip, skip the endorsement process? Uh, no. 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 Uh, I mean, well, we could very much... Uh, have you tried to see if if the board is uh, of, the, of the chapter wants to accept it? Mm -hmm. I mean, um, normally it's it's it will be something which is not it doesn't be very engaging engaging actually. It will be more a sort of of um, uh, checking whether it's now that something that is offensive in it or can, or can, uh, can we otherwise accept it as Thomas said. But the risk is definitely to say that well this is very interesting and, and it's no problem to endorse it but we want to, to go back to uh, the constituency to, to have their endorsement before before we endorse it. This this may be considered as as a major matter, and then it is it is for the members. I I can't say actually, and uh, I would prefer. I always prefer personally in in my surrounding to have uh, uh, basic ideas as this. Uh, decided upon by a, a, a members meeting actually. Okay, thank you. So, thank you very much for your input. It's, uh, it's really valuable. Also what I'm hearing here that maybe uh, we do have to reconsider some things. Uh, we, we have considered this, uh, actually this, this uh, issue of having this inclusive strategy process for a long time. Uh, how to be inclusive, we have interesting discussions for nine months now, yeah, so how to do that, so, so this is one part, uh, but if there is a room for reconsideration or uh, massive improvement in Wikimedia closing skills, but uh, we, will, we will see, so so thank you for your input, uh, we will move now to Armenia, Macedonia, Poland, but uh, also I would like to hear from smaller communities, so uh, if uh, if uh, Greek community, Republic of Srpska community, or a passport community has something that I would like also would like to hear from you. So think about that. I will go this round, and then, then maybe you you can have, you want now that way. Yeah. Oh, excellent. <laughs> okay, we uh, representing Mashkodostan, uh, Mashkodostan Music Group. Uh, first, I will have first Tom say I'll uh, interpret into English what he says. Then I'll have my own opinion also. Первое, что я хочу сказать, мы у себя в юзер группе Фашкотстан на первом этапе обсуждали и свое мнение сказали о том, что внимание к малым языковым разделам есть и должно быть. Это приоритетное наше преимущество перед всеми глобальными проектами в IT-технологиях. Does anyone need English translation? <laughs> 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 you probably, at least some in the audience need the English, so we okay. can do that. <laughs> so we in the Bashkoristan user group have been having some discussions around the strategic, uh, around the strategy as we see it. And uh, uh, in, in very short terms, uh, we think that uh, we need somehow to emphasize that uh, we would like to see the interest the smaller language communities within the Wikimedia emphasize somehow in the strategy. We think that if we uh, look at uh, uh, our movements um, as a whole, as compared to other similar movements, we think that uh, the interest is smaller, uh, the importance of smaller communities actually is a strong point uh, that we would like to uh, somehow to be emphasized. И мы 
в окончательных вот этих документах видим, что наши пожелания тоже учтены. Спасибо. We also saw that some of the comments that we earlier had, and uh, we had them sent, and now we see that they have been incorporated somehow, and it is rewarding for us to see that. Thank you. И мы хотим ответить на вопрос, который был поставлен, почему многие члены сообщества, участники вики проектов, например, в России не стали принимать участие на обсуждении. Это все-таки языковая проблема. Многие в России не знают английского языка. И вчера вот Виктор Семенюк обозначил, что надо бы оперативно переводить тоже на языки. Uh, the question was why we see that some of the smaller communities are, not, are kind of reluctant or do not, do not show much interest in participating in, uh, in discussions around strategy. Part of the answer might, might be that uh, language is also an issue, uh, like the language barrier. We see that some of the smaller communities in Russia, many of the members do not have enough English knowledge to participate. That's and if we, the process was translated. Yeah, actually. and if, if we could saw uh, most of the contents translated for us, let's say into Russian in our case, that would help us a lot to be more involved and have our opinions also. Ну, мы продолжим, будем обсуждать, и э, наше мнение, что э, планом лучше с каким-то планом, чем вообще без плана.
Я тоже хотел сказать, что это очень важно, что вы участвуете в этом процессе. Если вы не говорите по английский язык, это очень важно, что у нас есть участники такие, и чтобы мы можем этого переводить и, и этого взять для, для дискуссии. Это, это очень, очень, очень важно. И большое спасибо вам. Благодарю вам. Армения. From our Armenia chapter, I can say that um, um, I'm not personally the first time participating in this strategic dis discussion. Of course, Susanna has made more chances uh, because I heard that uh, you've been discussing this issue for a long time. Um, and uh, for myself, it was very interesting yesterday's presentation because uh, we've been having a kind of offline discussion without knowing uh, your uh, preliminary uh, draft version of uh, strategies and we've been having not only discussion but also a forum in Armenia where we have engaged a larger community from Armenia in industry uh, from IT section and top experts in IT and also some uh, educational uh, institutions uh, so there are different sections education IT etc and then, and then also we have um, uh, put together all these ideas, whatever people coming up uh, with this kind of uh, discussion during this forum. And, uh, I was glad that uh, first time seeing this strategy, there are many, many things that was matching to what we've been thinking. And uh, it was good thing to see that uh, we are in good direction. So in terms of endorsement, we can say that we have endorsed already. <laughs> Thank you. I want to Thank add you. Uh, something. Uh, we especially don't, don't give uh, to, uh, our uh, forum members uh, preliminary uh, text because uh, they will be go in this way and nothing more. <laughs> That's why uh, we organize forum uh, just uh, give questions and p panels, uh, three panels, uh, uh, IT, uh, uh, education, and GLAM. And uh, we have many uh, uh, contribution to it, and we have text we will uh, translate into English, but it is in uh, the same um, direction what we have now. About uh, endorsement, um, uh, and uh, I um, want to say that it was a chance for our community uh, to uh, engage community to uh, to understand them that they are part of movement, and uh, it was uh, forum is was a big chance to us because everybody that just edit think that uh, it is his article. It's uh, narrow, narrow thinking. We uh, change the mindset, uh, and uh, uh, it was um, very useful for Armenia. And uh, we have uh, every month uh, weekly love science uh, event, and we can just uh, um, <laughs> have a section about this and endorse. In this case, we have uh, on 29 of September uh, event, and we will uh, seek. Uh, uh, you see Wikipedia logo to Seven Lake, and after we will go to uh, Wiki Love Science event, and uh, this time we will endorse, uh, uh, we will uh, once more uh, have discussion and endorse it, I think. Really mm -hmm. okay, so, first of all, thanks, Nico, for uh, explaining and telling more about uh, the timeline on the short term about the uh, endorsement process and uh, what I have now is a simple technical question do you have uh, any quantitative uh, measures on how to uh, to get insight on whether the endorsement process will be successful or not I mean do you have any 
expectation of uh, how many uh, uh, signatories uh, should we have from the organizations, groups, and uh, the individual what do you contributors. <laughs> and no, so uh, what I'm asking this, why I'm asking this is uh, because uh, in the last couple of years uh, we have had uh, many instances of people solidarizing and endorsing uh, things to their colleagues from countries who face some uh, uh, mostly political pressures or uh, any uh, uh, legislative changes. Like uh, the most recent one was about uh, the fear that uh, the freedom of panorama may disappear from uh, uh, European laws. And I know that uh, there are like uh, several thousands of people endorsing the letter in less than uh, two hours, which was a pretty big number. And uh, I'm not going to compare it with this uh, endorsement process, but uh, I think uh, the endorsement is not something uh, odd for the people from our movement. It's uh, a very natural thing, and uh, I expect that uh, people are going to endorse uh, this direction. But the point is, uh, uh, do you have uh, mm -hmm. any strategy on how to analyze all the signatories uh, that we're going to receive during the endorsement process. So I suppose, I suppose it's more valuable to have like 100 people from 100 different communities instead of 100 people from one single community. Because in most of the cases we see that uh, uh, the people who are mostly uh, interested in endorsing are people from the German Wikipedia, from the English Wikipedia, from the larger communities. So I suppose, this, uh, I suppose that this time we're going to look at the small communities as well mm -hmm. and to pay careful attention on how uh, they behave uh, to the strategic direction that needs to be endorsed. Yeah. Yeah. So at the moment we, we have like we haven't had any success metrics or something like that. So um, at the moment um, we need to figure this out and take a special uh, what you just said. Um, especially have an eye on the diversity of no. signatories um, so that we don't only that, I don't know, I, uh, the German community coordinator goes to the German community and says, come all in and sign it and then we say, oh yes, we have a thousand signatories, so it's done. Uh, yeah, I also think that it's not uh, that important to have uh, the highest number of uh, endorsements, but to have uh, maybe the highest number of uh, communities uh, who endorsed the direction. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Communities and also organizations, of course. So, and, the, yeah. and then, and not only have the, the like bigger European chapters, but also have a, a very good um, yeah, mix or diversity of chapters there. So as I said, we don't have, I haven't, uh, it didn't come up with concrete numbers yet, but being, having an eye on the diversity is definitely something that we are going to do. And it's not only uh, to have uh, European community chapters. No, that's that's what I that's what I meant. It's not uh, to have a complete diversity. Yes. So uh, to make it uh, in short, we are still digging for gems, like this yeah. global endorsement metric system. So we are still digging for them. And if you have any input on that one, please do talk to Nicole. Uh, please please let us know what do you think would be a successful. Uh, endorsement day. How do you imagine this? What is the number? What is the qualitative thing? What what you look in there? Tomasz, then. Uh, okay. So first of all, I cannot speak for an entire Polish community or even chapter. <coughs> uh, and there are probably two ways to do this as a chapter. The first one is very simple. We just put this to the agenda of our board meeting, and board meeting will endorse or not. <coughs> And then, the, the, yes, and then the other issue is that the board might decide that uh, this is so important thing that we should probably ask uh, at least all our members and uh, practically it might take time until, I don't know, maybe uh, of uh, February, something like this. So, and uh, when you ask the members, when you ask the board, yes, yes, and then we have so-called winter uh, retreat, and during the this winter ret uh, retreat, which will be in February, so more or less we can probably well, accept will be, this. It will be second week of January. Yes, yeah, so the second. Part. Okay, uh -huh. so so he's a another member of the board. <laughs> Same <laughs> from my back. So the second week, and and yes, and oh, then that, sorry, and, and and then some. Practical thing. So first of all, it's for example, as 
although I was quite engaging in all this, it's unclear if we accept only these things in the box or also with implication. <coughs> yeah. But what about the online? <laughs> and uh, then, no, and then uh, uh, another issue is, is translation. And for, for example, I was, uh, because then uh, probably all of uh, uh, the chapters will endorse in their <coughs> translation. <coughs> And then uh, the issue is, for, for, for example, that uh, I was translating uh, this thing to not, not this one actually, but the, the previous uh, versions. Uh, and then uh, there were some problems with some words, <coughs> and I solved them by myself. But for example, Wojtek, who is the, the, the professional English translation, might be unhappy with my translation, so <laughs> then we can probably should polish the the, the, the translation and then go to the to, 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 to the process. And then when you to take a look on this screen there, and then there are various translations in various languages. And for example, even German now is 68 percent translated at the moment, although the, you have uh, the paid translators. Still. Can I can I make a note? Uh, uh, Okay. In a normal situation where you where you have a document, there is normally it's normally written that the original English version is normative and the decisions are based on this, and the Polish translation will be just for information. But okay, this can be done with a sales contract. And how many languages are we dealing with? in the whole Wikimedia community and in the whole strategic discussion. So, yeah, translating and endorsing local versions is a challenge. I totally agree with Thomas on that. Okay, so now even if I looked at the Polish translation, I'm not, not happy with this, although I did it myself. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> and probably Wojtek and some other better English-speaking people will help with. But when you go to the Russian, for example, Russian is almost no, totally I mean, untranslated at the moment, and you can do this. So it's, everyone can, can click and, and, and yes, edit. Yes, yeah. <laughs> even, if, even if two people with a high command of English, like for example myself and Marta, who is also a translator, take a look at one document, we might translate some things differently. It's, yeah, right. it's not about the level of command of English, it's about the translator's own feeling as it, what, what does it really say in English? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, when you translate something, you are four people at once. You are the, you act as the original author, someone who understands the original text, someone who writes a Polish text, and someone who needs to understand that Polish text. It's four people in one. As someone who understands the original meaning, as you think, see it. Yeah, that would, that would be the second person. On, on I'm, I'm so glad to hear that uh, you are as, as excited as I am about uh, <laughs> the, uh, the complexness of, of the building of the global movement strategy. Yes, you are getting there. Yes, yes, good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, I'm sorry, but I have to make one proposal or I will feel very bad in Finland because I didn't. <laughs> it has to do with the strategy, but it's uh, like a practical proposal. For, because for me, um, the open science, open research is really, really important. And I think it's, it's a, uh, a big question about equality and these things. You know that a lot of research, is, it's, uh, uh, you have to pay money to, to get it, or even you can never get it. And uh, I know there are uh, places where you can find open, open science, but it's, it's quite different, uh, difficult and it's in different places. So, I saw here that there is a project called Wiki Science, And that could be a, a, a practical thing that would be very good for everybody, every human being in the planet, to make a, a new uh, Wikimedia project. It could be Wiki Science. It sounds good for me. The place where you can find uh, uh, research papers, different research papers. Think about that. Yeah. 
we have been thinking about them. Is it direct follow up or? Okay, so Wahid, then I would actually like to volunteer Lubisha to tell something. Maybe Greeks want to add something. <laughs> Think about that. I would I would be happy to volunteer volunteer you. Um, just so you know, in uh, IberoCop, the discussion about translation has been so important that actually there's a Telegram channel dedicated to the strategy discussion, and the only thing they really discuss is the translation. But uh, I think that the positive news about this is that uh, as they're discussing the translation, they're also uh, discussing the meaning. And so, uh, even though they're discussing just one translation into Spanish, it's uh, one language for 15 affiliates, more or less, uh, they're also agreeing on what it means and what they want it to mean. So, uh, actually, it's not waste of time, waste of time to look at what the text is saying and what, what we want it to mean. It's also one way to make sense of it and to say, yes, we agree or we don't agree with it. So, it's one way to participate in um, the discussion of whether we endorse this or not. Hello everybody, my name is Ljubša Valens and I come from the Wikimedia community of Republic of Serbska. It's from Herzegovina uh, <coughs> in the south, in, on the Balkans. Uh, regarding our position uh, for strategy, I have to say that uh, our position is more or less uh, similar or maybe the same as the Macedonians. On one hand we have the indifference of the community this, uh, for the strategy uh, because of all the already uh, mentioned reasons. Uh, on the other hand, we are plagued by our relatively novice status and the uh, fact that we are still uh, in the process of um, uh, registration and establishing ourselves within our local community, that is the Republic of Serbska. Uh, in, in terms of what would we need, uh, I mean, I currently will not be able to give endorsement for this due to the same fact as uh, Carol mentioned because uh, there is no consensus on the community level so I'm, I would be able to speak only for myself uh, in, in regard of the, the endorsement. Um, uh, what I would like to point out is that uh, something that Asaf mentioned yesterday when he had uh, uh, on the second uh, I think lecture here is the uh, is something that actually is defined in the in the, in the paper, uh, and that's the uh, what I uh, the part of the strategy is where I see to some extent to some extent interesting to other extent maybe a bit problematic is my my personal impression is that uh, through this strategy. Uh, uh, Wikimedia itself is moving a bit closer to a political factor, which could be uh, on one side positive, on other side negative. Because from my personal experience, from I maybe I'm I'm alone in, in the room in that regard, but personal experience uh, from our user group is that it was taken up by the local populace so well because it was actually focused just on free knowledge. There was no link to either uh, any of the uh, numerous political fractions within the state or the parties or the, uh, any kind of, a, sorry, any kind of a, a social movement, anything regarding the politics. It was just uh, uh, free knowledge uh, and uh, uh, introduction, introduction of the uh, of Republic of Serbska to the greater world through Wikimedia and the article. Wikipedia and the articles. So I'm just, uh, I'm just like, uh, I'm, I would just like to echo the, uh, what uh, Asaf said yesterday. Like uh, he mentioned, are we, are we? I think he, I'm gonna paraphrase. Uh, are we ready to take on like Indians, India caste systems, or the issue of Chinese human rights? Because where, where do we draw the line? Where, where do we, uh, uh, where do we? Um, we should be, at least my impression is that Wikimedia should be a source of, uh, should be dri driven by a noble goal of, of uh, free access to knowledge for every human in the world. Uh, where do we, do we have, would, would we have to sacrifice that for, uh, for, for um, some kind of agreement with, uh, 
uh, with, uh, I don't know, with political actors in certain parts of the world that maybe don't share our values but are willing to, to, uh, are willing to uh, participate in the freedom of knowledge. And I mean, I, I, I'm actually interested in maybe as Nicole or, or you, uh, Carol, can. Let me give you one second. I'm just, I'm, I'm just one thing. So, what came up uh, yesterday, I had a very good discussion with these Belarus people, and, and uh, it also had this, this thing about uh, the political part of the movement, and actually, uh, as it has been stated already many times, that the, the thrive to, for free access, for free knowledge in itself is political. And, and if it was uh, said in a very verbal way in Belarusian community, and that this is also part of the strategy and then most person, this is what uh, the user group is doing there, then actually they had people leading the user group. Well, because it, it became, they want just to edit. They don't want to do any political stuff, especially in, in specific circumstances. And, and uh, do we want it or not, uh, the, the Western world uh, is, is somewhat auditing the world. Actually, many of the countries are like Belarus, Russia, Turkey. This is normality that we deal with. And, and we have big issues with, with uh, doing political activity in there. And people just li like to do things there. So, and, and this also creates tensions in the communities. So, so it's, it's a problem. I will, I will give a hit to follow up and then also Daria, you wanted to say something or no? You just want to go. Okay, I will, uh, I will give a hit and then you can decide if you want that. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to propose a distinction and draw a line between uh, two aspects. One is partisan politics and participating in partisan politics. I'm not interested in, to, in that, and I hope that the movement does not go in that way. It's and illegal in UK as a charity, you can't do partisan advocacy. So, yeah. that's one way to look at it also, legal <laughs> reasons. And the other one is policy making and uh, pushing for certain policies. And I think that all of us here, and probably everyone participating in the movement, support certain policies. So, we support free access to knowledge, that's a policy. And we, can, uh, we don't need to uh, be affiliated to a single uh, political party to push that policy. Irrespective of who is uh, engaging in the political debate, what we support is this policy that everyone should have access to knowledge. And we don't need to uh, identify ourselves with one party or the other uh, to do that. That's uh, a general policy that we support. And we can identify those policies that we support and those policies that we don't support. We don't support uh, limitations to access to knowledge and, and so on and so on. But so it's different. One thing is to uh, support partisan politics and the other one is policy making or policy design. And I think that's where our conversation should be. Sorry, I kind of have a comment. <laughs> it was, it sort of related more to earlier, but actually I think Vahid made an opening for me where it, where it does relate. Um, when we were thinking about endorsement of, of the strategic direction, I was mapping what our strategic goals are onto this and how well it fits, kind of reflects what other people were saying about whether it matches or not. Uh, and it does, and it actually does much better than the previous movement strategies which is great and um, one thing I've noticed from the previous iteration and this one um, where I fit our strategy matches a little less is that it actually feels like there is less focus on advocacy in this one I think I think in the previous um, wording of, of the strategy the advocacy was quite explicit and there, I kind of don't really see that unless I've missed it. Well, for me, equity kind of sounds. Yeah, like it a, does. It's just that you know, like even like it's a simple thing. Like advocacy was kind of like a word in the previous um, version, which it isn't here. And actually, that's an interesting point. Like how how important is is that advocacy? Um, maybe it is, but like as a um, conclusion of this, rather than. Explicit thing, but that's just that's yeah, just I my. Mean, to follow up, I'm sure. Just, uh, yeah. uh, 
I probably missed I it. I would like to read the sentence <laughs> in the box of the strategic director. No, I know. So we, we will break down the social, political, and technical barriers. Yeah, no, so I it, know it, that. Kind of, it kind of sounds like advocacy to me. Well, it does exactly. It sounds like it. But, but it's, it's not advocacy written down. So okay, good. I'm just saying. Yeah. Point taken. Yeah. Uh, I, I wanted to say the same because I think breakdown is even stronger than just advocating mm. or breakdown mm. to uh, break down the political barriers that prevent people from accessing and using knowledge. I think that's I think it's quite good. Yeah. Yeah. So, Carol, you have something to add? Mm. Uh, no. <laughs> just so I just wanted to move a step forward to, to go and discuss about uh, phase two. Yeah. So, once we so, uh, imagine that uh, <coughs> all the communities endorse. So, uh, the thing with, uh, with phase two is that uh, this is something we like so much that we keep postponing discussing this. This is on a, <laughs> this is on a foundation level. This is, uh, this is also on, uh, on a meeting level. So, we tell you all the time that we're going to discuss phase two to get you to the session. But, <laughs> but actually, the, the question is, uh, do you want to discuss phase two right now, or uh, because we actually have uh, Gafrin and Maria and Arub, do you want to uh, do the Q&A we missed yesterday? So this is a question now, because we have an open and free slot at 5 p.m. Uh, to discuss, to have a full hour filled with phase two, and this time for real. No, I just have a simple question. Uh, so. Imagine that uh, you have already got uh, the uh, trust from the communities through the endorsement process, and what then? How are you going to, to proceed? Yeah. How are you going to proceed with the trust that you have from the communities to develop the strategy in the next phase? Yeah, this is a very simple question. <laughs> we would like to take a couple of hours discussing that. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, we can start with started. the brainstorming on. Uh, how should phase two look like and uh, what should be included? Yeah. Like from the perspective of the community? <coughs> the problem here is that, uh, that uh, it's, it's a longer discussion. We now have 20 minutes left. Okay. So this is, this is a problem that uh, we came in late because we had to drive people with beds into the conference uh, <laughs> venue. So, then let's proceed to the Q&A. So, so I think it would make sense because we have people in the room now. Uh, uh, so we could have the Q&A. We could ask uh, the direct questions. I would like to give Marius uh, a word because we haven't heard uh, from Greek community yet, and and then maybe you others can listen to Marius and at the same time think maybe you have some direct question to a, a member of board of trustees or or executive director of Wikimedia Foundation related to a strategic direction endorsement or even phase two. So you, so you can ponder about that. But I will give the word to Marius. Yeah. Thanks. Some trick. Okay, it's working. Yeah. Okay. One, one. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay uh, probably I'm going to just say the state of uh, the, the discussion in phase one. Okay. In fact, we didn't do my, much in Greek uh, in Greek community. Uh, we start translating the page. We are like in like about three percent of translation. And because we face the same problems of uh, people conflicting about what is the, the, a, a good translation might be, and we lost a lot of valuable time in debating about how to translate uh, correctly from English. Uh, we facilitated phase one as a user group. Uh, the, the discussion was really weak. We had like about only about eight comments during phase one, and this was only by long-standing editors which means that the community didn't really want to, to participate in uh, the discussion in strategy. We had the same problem with Kirill. And the, 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 main, the main comments about these eight comments was about uh, how uh, the Greek Wikipedia would be aligned uh, in comparison to the English one. Or in fact, how we adopt information or knowledge from Wikipedia with much more experience and Wikipedias with much more uh, people involved, like what we do with the templates, what we do with uh, policies already formed in, in English Wikipedia, which is a bigger Wikipedia, and s somewhere there the discussion stopped, because uh, in the previous years we had this discussion of how to make a different approach of um, 
which article is allowed in, in Greek Wikipedia because we we demanded a higher level of uh, discussion. And if we if this is better than the English Wikipedia which has five million pages, but most of them are like stubs or just uh, uh, articles about villages and or about series. Yeah, series. we we had this discussion about because we demand different level of and what is our stance on you know, on this discussion on this level and. And then we had on on the face on the on the other faces we, ha we had only individual so comments so I don't feel like the community has uh, formed any strategy on phase one. And from my experience during the phase one, I just want to say this: I keep I, I kept getting lengthy emails about from from Nicole and uh, from uh, Catherine. And I, uh, okay, <laughs> it, it, it was impossible even to read. Yeah, I, I have a, a list of in my to-do list and about twenty emails just to keep re to read at some point. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't deleted them. Thank I, you. Uh, I started somewhere. But, uh, almost <laughs> instead of taking twenty taking twenty minutes to read them, well, would you like to ask a direct question? <laughs> To ask what it's all about. Yeah. 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 <laughs> why all this fuss? <laughs> At some point, yeah, I started wondering why I kept getting emails that were just variations of the previous email. So, um, it's actually this emails are actually possible. This is my feeling. This is not the, the start of the community, guys. Yeah, just <laughs> in general. Yeah, I think this is what, what we did in Greece right now. This is what we've done, that's all. In the, I think the main discussion is not about the politics thing. It's about how we improve Wikipedia and how we adopt information from others. Because we are very, uh, till now, very keen in uh, adopting very fast things like Wikidata. We were one of the first Wikipedias to convert templates and uh, grab Wikidata immediately. We are now moving away from categories and we want them to be auto-generated by Wikidata. Yeah. We try to have all these things. We we are the first Wikipedias to adopt Visual Editor. We, we like the things uh, WMF does for us. <laughs> and this is the discussion of how everything is implemented in a, in a faster and uh, a better way. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, maybe Pablo wants to... Uh, I'm Pavlos, and I'm from the uh, Wikipedia Community School Association in Greece. Well, I have some notes here, it's, uh, it's alright. Um, uh, as about the Greek Wikipedians, it's uh, true that the majority of them are actually contributors, and they don't care or they are not <coughs> aware about the politics of uh, Wikipedia Foundation or in the strategy. Um, on the other hand, Although I can't speak um, on behalf of all the members of the group I represent, as about the strategy, generally these directions are switched on uh, with the, the philosophy of, ma of ma most of our members. But as a Greek Wikipedia, we have the problem that also Mario said that we lack information in some in some things, and that we are trying to find uh, ways to to come to to mix uh, the, uh, articles, the number of the articles, and their, um, uh, how can I say, their, um, sorry, quality. Quality. That's all for me. We're going to do the same thing with the Russian thing. <laughs> 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 and could you go up to the employees? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, what is your name? The boxes? The language? Yes. Um, because I would say that uh, if, if somebody, I, I don't know, like uh, for me, the most important part obviously is the box with the strategic direction. And if uh, anybody is struggling with interpreting while translating it, uh, Kyle and me, we are happy to, to host a translation session today in the evening yeah, and help you to translate at, at least this important part. Yeah, the, the reasoning. I would say it's less important than the strategic direction by itself, so we're really happy to support you, right? Yeah, Cornelius knows that uh, interpreting strategic direction is one of my hobbies, <laughs> so I would be more than happy to, to share this hobby with you and have a constructive late night session on, on translation. So please, please let us know, please, uh, please uh, tell us, and we, we would like to interpret. Thank you, Cornelius.
So uh, maybe Catherine can join us in a circle, uh, and if, uh, if people have questions, Maria or, uh, or Catherine, this is quite good time. Of course, you may have a wonderful individual discussion during coffee break, if that's probably, but uh, now it's also a good, uh, good moment to ask, ask a question if you happen to have one. Great, just a chair. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this might not be the proper time to ask this question, as it should have probably been asked uh, voiced uh, earlier. But I was again looking at this philosophy of who we are and the strategy, and uh, one simple thing came up to my mind. Uh, we are about sharing free knowledge, right? <clears throat> well, if you imagine one day, uh, no, let's first, uh, remember that knowledge is actually a finite thing. What happens one day when we see that all the knowledge in the world has, is now on Wikipedia? All the mo monuments have been taken pictures of and <laughs> uploaded to comments. What happens next? Uh, what do we do then? Uh, are we done? So as a movement, or what happens then? I think that's a, it might be a good challenge in terms of thinking in another way, uh, strategy and who we are. That, that, uh, that the million million, uh, scientific publication so, uh, to including the <laughs> So, if one day all the knowledge of the world is in the Wikimedia projects, wow, we've successfully completed our mission. Yeah. And then, we what we have to do is make sure that it is available in perpetuity for free. Okay. Let's but is that ever couple. gonna happen? Yeah, yeah. Let's so, see. We are done with that soon. Yeah. <laughs> I can't say that. I can't. Uh, uh, hello. I come if I can. Yeah. Uh, there is a there is a page. It's not on Meta. Oh. Uh, or or it is. Um, it says that in order to achieve the sum of human knowledge, one of the users has calculated it and has probably underestimated it by words of Darius Emeliak, Is that you would need 107 million articles. Okay. And completely and completely described. Think about how many articles on your wiki or on English wiki, for example, are not completely developed. There are five point something million articles, out of which maybe 10% are well developed. So you would need to go to 107 million articles and develop them perfectly. And this is, and just, and this is just encyclopedic knowledge. And this is just encyclopedic knowledge. Yeah. And please bear in mind <laughs> that right now the sum of human knowledge doubles every year. No, 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 no. Updating all no. <laughs> this. Yeah, so <laughs> now you have just, <laughs> thank you for that. You have just said that basically knowledge is accumulating as we go, and probably we're not never going to reach that point, right? Yeah. But I think this uh, uh, might not be practical, but still a good question about who we are. What do we do next when we are done, hypothetically? <laughs> are we done? Then we can uh, look for other uh, occupations. <laughs> It's not only about having all the knowledge, right? Um, we also want that knowledge uh, to be accessible, and we know technology is changing all the time. So we would have to be able to keep up like that. Uh, we want, don't want to be a forgotten book in a forgotten library. No, we want to be in virtual reality or want to be in the next kind of technology and keeping up is a huge effort. Like it's only been recently that we've managed to sort of, you know, uh, a, a bridge, bridge that gap of 15 years technology that we had. We've been using IRC, we've been using IRC, right? Yeah. And that's not exactly cutting edge technology. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not even saying like keep ahead, keeping track of what's going on. It's, it's a huge effort for us. So, so after then, uh, the, our philosophy will be just keeping up, right? With knowledge. Just keeping up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I, what I thought was interesting is you said all the articles have been written and all the images have been uploaded to common, but those are just two projects. Yeah. And we have no idea what else what other forms of knowledge we might want to engage with. That's right. And so for me, as if we really have written all the articles on the encyclopedia, okay, that's great. Now let's go take on other forms of knowledge. I think that that's the call for me. We can start mm -hmm. now, basically. Yeah, or we can start now. <laughs> Why not make the mission bigger? <laughs> um, I have a comment and a different question. Um, 
there's a discussion. There's a lot of discussion in the in the charity sector in the UK about this. Like, what if you meet your mission? Like, say there is a homeless charity and it like end homelessness. And it, if it end, if if they succeed in that, what happens? Like, maybe the solution is to close the charity because you've done it. Or maybe you have to like reinvent and, and think of yeah. other. But you know, it's it, there's those two things. But I have a different question. It looks like you want to say something. Uh, yeah, I'll be ready. Okay. Uh, so my question later. <laughs> <laughs> Immediate follow-up. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I, from what I see, most of you present here have been also to Montreal this uh, summer, the Wikimania. And that, uh, that Wikimania, that, there's an interesting uh, presentation about uh, the uh, early development of Wikipedia in one of the Native American languages. Yeah. <clears throat> And one thing I heard there, which actually struck me, was that, that saying that actually we did not have the world for the encyclopedia in our language, which means that uh, they're basically inventing this type of knowledge for, for their community. And this again about non-encyclopedic knowledge, uh, uh, it actually cited as a, a, like a joke, but I thought that it, it might be a good idea now to think about other types of knowledge that humanity has. And uh, wh why don't we start thinking now? And it might be even uh, worthwhile thinking about in including this as a strategy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At least trying to uh, find what other types of knowledge might be, except that uh, the ones based on scientific knowledge. Thank you. you want to throw up the drip on that? Yes. So you throw up and then you go to Well, I, I really right. endorse this. Um, it was discussed, but. Uh, actually in, in Berlin, but uh, it was an item that, that didn't really uh, enter on the, the high level. I think we should very much widen our very narrow uh, scope that we have for this uh, textual and intellectual uh, uh, knowledge type that we are working with all the time. <laughs> I mean, I think the good news is that there are people who are working on this right now. Um, for those of you who did have the chance to go to Montreal, uh, there was a panel discussion. I wasn't able to attend it, but I heard it, it was really quite powerful. Um, that was called Who's Knowledge, which is by the Who's Knowledge Affiliate. And this is something that the Who's Knowledge Affiliate is very much focused on. And they're working currently with uh, indigenous communities to think about how to incorporate the um, knowledge that indigenous communities have, but not just indigenous communities, to a soft point about breaking down the, the caste system. They're looking at issues of caste and privilege and power in India. I mean, so they're looking at a whole wide variety of things, and I think that that's a really wonderful, positive thing to see our community broadening out to include people who are asking these questions. So. I had a question. Um, <laughs> how how well do you think phase one went? Relation to participation. I don't know your expectations. So I think it's fair to say we wanted it to be as inclusive as possible. We wanted to have as many voices as possible. Something that helped is that, for example, there were um, a lot of regional conferences happening that helped a lot, uh, so that a lot of groups were able to have uh, anthematic uh, uh, meetings, like, for example, with women, right? Uh, that helped uh, a lot of people to have those discussions. And uh, it was great that there was um, the, the strategy team was able to travel to all of them. Um, something I really liked about the process uh, was the community liaison. Uh, having people <coughs> in the projects who were belong to those projects who spoke the language and were, were able to shepherd the process and were there to answer questions. For example, in Spanish Wikipedia, um, obviously there was discussion on, on the project, but like the full conversation basically happened on tele, right? And then on, on, on in person meetings. So it was, I thought it was a, a different way to engage communities. I know that different community liaisons try different tactics, and uh, it seems like uh, we've gotten like I know it's it's we see the 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 graph and it's been that effort to include all the points of view, and we know that there were a lot of points of view. But I remember thinking when they like the 
five emerging topics came out. I was like, okay, yes, uh, I think this makes sense. I wasn't expecting huge surprises because in the end the movement is comprised of people to share the same values. So I wasn't expecting to see anything strange. Um, but I was pleased. I was pleased when I saw those five emerging topics. I'm really glad we don't have to do it again until 2030. <laughs> as possible, we want as many languages to participate as possible, we want to not be dogmatic about everything has to be done on meta, we want to go to where people are, we want to make it in person, we want to make it on channels that communities communicate on, uh, we want to include people outside of our movement, we want to make sure that it's not just this thousand people who show up to comment, but we're able to really survey um, the wit, what our the communities are thinking about, but also what readers need and what partners need, and talk to people across the whole spectrum of the different areas that Wikimedia touches, from education to clams to the sort of futurists of the world. And in the end, we want everyone to feel pretty good about it and feel pretty good about Wikimedia. Um, and I think we mostly did that. Yeah. Not perfectly, certainly, and there are many times along the process where we kind of had these regular Wednesday meetings and we just went, wait, stop, we have to throw everything out and start all over again. But I actually really appreciate that flexibility. Um, and we, I think we've learned a lot about ourselves and about our communities, and I've certainly learned a tremendous amount, and so I've been very appreciative of that opportunity to do so much learning. And I think somebody said earlier, also to get the sense of the fact that we are a community, as opposed to just people working in isolation in our languages and projects. So, all in all, is it an A plus? I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know what we're grading against. Um, it could have certainly been better, but I think it reasonably well. Like, I think I agree with you. I'm just like, you know, hearing what people are saying, like, oh, our like my community is not engaged. I can't translate. It kind of jars with my my experience of the process and I'm thinking like I guess there's like all sorts of different experiences of how well it worked for people. I think it probably is different once the time to sign has come. Yeah. Up, right? And and I think it bears reminding what Nicole said at the beginning. You're not selling your souls. Right? <laughs> like you have the draft right now and if you're okay with, like, say, 75%, okay, you don't have to be 100% behind every word. The important thing here is, is there any red flags here? Is there anything you cannot work with? And otherwise, go back to your members, go back to your communities, of course, discuss that, uh, get their, get their um, approval. But um, seriously, you're not selling your souls with this. It's, does this look okay? Is this something that we're behind? Or can we be behind this? Is there anything that's a huge obstacle and we cannot we cannot by any means and this is the time to, to, to let the strategy team know before uh, they have a final draft. Because again, this is not a final draft. It's not a final draft, it's a final <laughs> When we are saying final draft, does it mean that I know that's what I just said. Yeah. After five years, we cannot revisit this. Uh, <laughs> no? Will it always be called a craft? It's a final draft. It depends on the, so I think it's always a draft. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I think that this is where phase two sort of planning comes in, is what we, oh, phase two. <laughs> what we were talking about yesterday is that this is meant to be a direction, but how we prioritize it and what we do first and what is appropriate for individual communities is going to be different. And so I would hope that the next part of planning is trying to um, plan in a way that allows us to say, we want to achieve this in the next two to three years or three to five years. And then for us, in the, whenever that period is, concluded to say, is this working for us? You know, are we making progress here? And if not, 
well, what, what do we need to evaluate? I, I think that this is a pretty good direction for 2030, personally, but the tactics that we'll need to take to get there, those may change, and that's okay, and they're probably going to be different, country to country, and language to language, and project to project, and Thematic, systematic, and <laughs> yeah, so. so the tactics and, and phase two part is good to take over. So, uh, uh, we now are, are nearing the coffee break. The coffee not, not, it's not there to escape, but, uh, but we are nearing the coffee break. Uh, so, to send you a clear message that phase two is not something we plan behind the closed doors. We are going to have an open uh, session at 5 p.m. in the corner, so you can be cornered to discuss phase two, and people can join in there. So it's it's 5 p.m. there, not behind closed doors. It's completely open the planning of the phase two, and you can step in, uh, give your comments. Uh, so uh, so this is at 5 p.m. And uh, this is also we are so enjoying this uh, strategic uh, process. We already had nine months. We just want to continue. We are, we are getting new sessions into the conference program. So, so there will be a session not in the in the uh, plan yet, not on your paper. But remember, at 5 p.m. corner, uh, the session uh, about phase two. This is the most exciting part. This is uh, this is the tactics now. We get tactical. And uh, also, uh, like Cornelius said, but uh, bring your computer and let's interpret the strategy, the strategic direction together this evening. <laughs> so this is uh, this is great fun. I have been uh, I have had the privilege to be part of the drafting committee, and I can assure you that this has been great fun. So, so it, it's, it's amazing, and I'm so glad that we are having so many drafts. I can comment on, interpret, and, and it's ongoing. We had, uh, we had semi-final drafts, now we are coming to the finals. So, but uh, as American tradition, this is a series, so it's not just one game, it's seven games. So it, it's, it's really good, I really like uh, this thing. So, so please, uh, to discuss with, if you have any problem with interpreting something, you have questions relating related to words or uh, sections or what what does focus mean uh, or uh, or anything that uh, that you have, please please to talk to Cornelius or me. The evening catch us. And as we loved uh, the strategy saloon yesterday in the hotel, we are planning to maybe repeat that. Uh, so so people people can actually join in in the evening and we can have another late night strategy saloon uh, after the dance floor moves or or just for people who, who don't are not uh, so adapt physically to dance on the floor but, but would like prefer to some strategic dancing in a, in a hotel room. <laughs> so well, this is this is today I will just give uh, mic to me coffee and, words, and, and then probably hopefully there will be coffee yeah. Thank you, Tara. Thank you. And no. <laughs> <laughs> Too early. I want to say thank you. Thank you, everyone, for, for being here, for being here so early, and for being here so active, and for contributing uh, to the session, and um, yeah, for helping us um, on these final meters to the final direction. And I hope to see actually all of you uh, at five in the corner. So thank you a lot. Thank you.